Welcome to the global defense battle. The T-14 Armada is a next-generation main battle tank developed by Russia to redefine modern tank warfare. It was created as part of the Armada Universal Combat Platform, which aims to standardize Russia's armored vehicle designs. Officially unveiled in 2015 during the Moscow Victory Day Parade, the T-14 is designed to operate with a focus on survivability, advanced firepower, and crew safety. Its primary role is to serve as a heavily armored frontline weapon with superior technological capabilities, such as an unmanned turret and active protection systems. The tank's development began in the late 2000s to replace older Soviet-era designs and to compete with Western tanks, highlighting Russia's ambitions to set a new benchmark in armored warfare. On the other hand, the M1A2 Abrams System Enhancement Package V3 is the latest upgrade of the iconic American Abrams tank series, first introduced in the 1980s. This variant focuses on modernizing the platform with enhanced lethality, digital communication, and energy efficiency. Introduced in 2017, this version builds upon decades of combat experience, including conflicts like the Gulf War, to address emerging threats like advanced anti-tank weapons. The U.S. Army developed this variant to ensure its armored forces remain competitive against advanced opponents like Russia and China. And today, we will compare both of these tanks, Russia's T-14 Armada versus United States M1A2 Abrams SCP V3 tanks. So, let's start. Talking about the design first, the T-14 Armada features a modern design with a low-profile hull and an unmanned turret, enhancing its stealth and reducing exposure to enemy fire. The tank's layout includes three compartments, the crew cabin at the front, the unmanned turret in the center, and the engine at the rear. The crew of three, commander, gunner, and driver are seated side by side in an armored capsule at the front of the hull, providing increased safety by isolating them from the ammunition storage and fuel. This arrangement offers improved comfort and protection for the crew. The T-14 measures approximately 10.8 meters in length, 3.5 meters in width, and 3.3 meters in height, with a combat weight of around 48 tons. On the other hand, the Abrams V3 maintains the classic Abrams design with a robust, angular hull and a man turret. The tank's layout positions the driver at the front center of the hull, while the commander, gunner, and loader are located in the turret section. This four-person crew configuration allows for efficient operation and maintenance of the tank systems. The interior is designed to provide adequate space and ergonomics for the crew, contributing to operational effectiveness. The M1A2 V3 has a length of 9.77 meters, a width of 3.7 meters, and a height of 2.4 meters, with a combat weight of approximately 73.6 tons. Talking about the engine and performance, the T14 Armada is powered by a CHTZ 12N360 diesel engine, delivering up to 1,500 horsepower. This engine is coupled with a 12-speed automatic transmission, allowing the tank to reach a maximum road speed of approximately 80 to 90 kilometers per hour. The T-14 employs a hydro-pneumatic suspension system, providing enhanced mobility and ride comfort over various terrains. Its operational range is around 500 kilometers on a full tank of fuel. This combination of speed and range enables the T-14 to effectively maneuver alongside mechanized infantry units during operations. On the other hand, the Abrams V3 is equipped with a Honeywell AGT 1500 gas turbine engine, producing 1,500 horsepower. This engine is paired with a hydrokinetic transmission featuring four forward and two reverse gears. The tank can achieve a maximum road speed of 68 km per hour and has an operational range of approximately 425 km. It utilizes a torsion bar suspension system, which, combined with its powertrain, provides reliable mobility across diverse terrains. Its performance capabilities allow it to effectively support and keep pace with infantry units during combat operations. Overall, both the Armada and Abrams V3 are powered by 1,500 horsepower engines, granting them substantial speed and mobility. Each tank's design reflects its nation's strategic priorities in balancing speed, range, and mobility to meet operational demands. Talking about the armaments and weapons, the T-14 Armada is equipped with a 125mm 2A82 1M smoothbore main gun, capable of firing a variety of ammunition types, including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabo rounds, high-explosive anti-tank shells, and guided missiles. This versatility allows the T-14 to engage a wide range of targets, from heavily armored vehicles to fortified positions. The main gun is complemented by a 12.7mm cord machine gun and a 7.62mm PKTM machine gun, providing additional firepower against infantry and light vehicles. The 2A82 1M gun boasts a firing rate of 10 to 12 rounds per minute and an effective range of up to 8 kilometers, enabling it to penetrate advanced enemy armor effectively. The T-14's fire control system enhances accuracy, allowing for precise targeting even while on the move. On the other hand, the M1A2 Abrams V3 features a 120mm M-256 smoothbore main gun, 
capable of firing various ammunition types, including M829A4 advanced kinetic energy rounds and advanced multi-purpose rounds. These munitions enable the Abrams to effectively engage armored vehicles, personnel, and low-flying aircraft. Secondary armament includes a 12.7mm M2HB heavy machine gun and two 7.62mm M240 machine guns, providing comprehensive defensive capabilities against a range of threats. The M256 gun has a firing rate of approximately 6 rounds per minute, with advanced fire control systems ensuring high accuracy and the ability to penetrate modern enemy armor. The tank stabilization and targeting systems allow for effective firing while in motion. Both the tanks are equipped with powerful main guns capable of firing a variety of ammunition types designed to defeat modern armor threats. Regarding armor and protection, the T-14 Armada employs advanced modular composite armor, combining steel, ceramics, and composite materials to provide robust protection against various threats. While specific armor thickness details are classified, the design emphasizes crew survivability through an armored capsule that isolates the crew from ammunition and fuel. The tank is equipped with the Afghanit Active Protection System, which includes radar and countermeasure launchers to detect and neutralize incoming projectiles. Visibility for the crew is enhanced by advanced optics and sensor systems, offering comprehensive situational awareness despite the unmanned turret configuration. On the other hand, the Abrams V3 features composite armor reinforced with depleted uranium layers, providing substantial protection against kinetic and chemical energy threats. Exact armor thickness is classified but the design focuses on maximizing crew safety and vehicle survivability. The tank is equipped with the Trophy Active Protection System, which detects and intercepts incoming anti-tank missiles and rockets. The crew benefits from advanced optics and thermal imaging systems, ensuring excellent visibility and situational awareness in various combat conditions. Overall, both the tanks utilize advanced composite armor systems to protect against modern battlefield threats. Advanced optics and sensor suites in both tanks provide superior visibility for the crew, ensuring effective operation in diverse combat scenarios. If we see the situational awareness features of both the tanks, the T-14 Armada is equipped with advanced situational awareness systems, including a 360-degree radar and multiple high-resolution cameras, providing comprehensive battlefield visibility. Its unmanned turret design allows for enhanced sensor placement, contributing to improved target detection and tracking. The tank is designed for integration into network-centric warfare systems, enabling real-time data sharing with other units and command centers, which enhances coordinated operations and battlefield effectiveness. On the other hand, the Abrams V3 features advanced situational awareness capabilities, including the commander's independent thermal viewer and improved optics, allowing for effective target acquisition and engagement. The tank is equipped with the Joint Tactical Radio System and other digital communication tools, facilitating seamless integration into network-centric warfare environments. These systems enable the Abrams to share and receive real-time battlefield information, enhancing coordination with other units and command structures. Both the tanks are designed with advanced situational awareness systems and are capable of integration into network-centric warfare frameworks. These features ensure that both tanks maintain a high level of battlefield awareness and operational effectiveness. Regarding cost, the development cost of the T-14 Armada has not been publicly disclosed. Estimates suggest that each unit costs between $5 million and $9 million. This relatively high cost has influenced Russia's decision to limit production and continue using existing models like the T-90. The T-14's unit cost is estimated to be around $3.7 million per tank. On the other hand, specific development costs for the M1A2 Abrams are not publicly available. The export cost per unit is approximately $24 million as of fiscal year 2022. This figure reflects the extensive upgrades and advanced technologies integrated into this latest variant. As of November 2024, the Russian army has produced approximately 20 T-14 Armada tanks, primarily for testing and evaluation purposes. Despite initial plans to acquire 2,300 units between 2015 and 2020, production has been significantly delayed due to financial and technical challenges. The T-14 has not yet been officially adopted into active service, and there have been no confirmed exports of this model to other countries. On the other hand, the Abrams V-3 is actively produced and deployed by the U.S. Army. In December 2020, General Dynamics Land Systems was awarded a $4.6 billion contract to produce these tanks, with deliveries expected through June 2028. Internationally, Poland has ordered 250 tanks, with deliveries scheduled to begin in 2025. Australia is also set to receive 75 units by the end of 2024. In summary, both the tanks represent the pinnacle of modern tank design, showcasing the distinct philosophies of Russia and the United States. Which tank do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.